it was the first encounter for me of members of the Acorn Army. They they introduced themselves as the Acorn Army, and so you know, ever ever since I put that out there, that's the first time I've met somebody that actually admitted to it. <laughs> so. <laughs>
I made it to the peak of Hump Mountain. Probably one of the most memorable hikes uh, since I started the AT. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. It's about, it's close to eight o'clock in the morning and the views are spectacular up here. I got a sunny day. And if you want to realize just how insignificant you are, come up to Hump Mountain for sunrise. It's unforgettable.
I am a couple miles into my hike this morning, coming out of Mountain Harbor Bed and Breakfast and Hostel. And that's in the Roan Mountain, Tennessee town area. It's just a short uh, quarter mile walk off the trail. So no shuttles uh, required there. So I had a great stay there. The food was great. The breakfast this morning um, was excellent. They serve it at 8 a.m. sharp and so much food. It was all good and uh, fresh coffee too. So my heart is happy. <laughs> my belly is happy too. Um, they've got a really great, and I'm talking about Mountain Harbor Hostel. Um, I'd say the food really stands out. There's a food truck there that uh, one of the hostel owners named Dave, he cooks, and uh, I've got a nice menu, burgers and fries and uh, chicken sandwiches, um, all sorts of stuff, and it's all excellent. So I had lunch and dinner there within a few hours of each other the day I hiked in, and of course this morning breakfast, and then um, I hiked out just before 9 a.m. this morning. And um, prior to getting to Mountain Harbor, some really, really cool sections of the trail. Um, Unaka Mountain stands out. No views up there, but the Spruce Forest at the top of that mountain was really cool. Roan Mountain, um, I think that's over 6,000 foot in elevation, and it's home to the highest shelter on the AT. So I stopped there for lunch, talked to a few hikers up there, and um, and then uh, Round Bald, Jane Bald, Little Hump Mountain, and Hump Mountain, all memorable. I had uh, great weather for uh, the summits on those, and just... Uh, I really had to slow down my my walk and just stop and take it all in. Um, it was it was amazing. So um, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. But uh, yeah, uh, my stay at the bed I stayed in the bed the bed and breakfast portion of Mountain Harbor. So up in the house on the hill, uh, the hostel, small food resupply. Um, uh, is down the hill and there's a stream that runs through the property that they're um, fixing up with uh, some pavers and stone and everything so it's going to be really nice there it's, I mean it is nice now but um, great stay the people were great that run the place so it's right up there with uh, Shaw's up in Monson, Maine I would say, but I think Mountain Harbor, I think I said before, has been voted the best breakfast on the AT, and I can see why. So I won't need to snack this morning. I had seconds of uh, yeah, buff buffet-style breakfast. So, um, and the plus is, you know, I would have stayed there another day had there been rain today. And I was praying for rain, <laughs> but uh, it's too nice of a day not to hike. So I'm pushing to Damascus, trying to get there in uh, four to five days. I think it's uh, from Mountain Harbor, it's about 75 miles up the trail. So, all right, I'm on an uphill. I gotta put this away so I can use my camera hand with a, put a trekking pole in it, and I'll see you down the trail, onward.
All right, end of the day for me. Um, I think it's 20 miles. It was a beautiful day. Um, this is kind of an unusual site. It's a documented tent site. And it says it's got a piped spring as its water source. This is not a um, shelter site with a privy or anything. It's just a what's supposed to be a flat tent site. And I'll show you that in a minute. But um, I've also got a kind of a meadow out in front. Um, the trail is right down here. And the tent site is right behind me. Um, that's my pack and that's the um, tent site back here there's a little fire ring a little stone bench some logs to sit on but um, if I came across this and I was hiking and I was doing an installment of I'd tent that uh, this would probably be like a 5 out of 10 the flattest part has got roots on it and then um, you can't probably tell from this but there's a slight um, slope it's going this way and it's buggy <laughs> I haven't had bugs all day except for right here um, and maybe it's maybe it's this meadow but um, it's a nice view uh, I'm staying here I'm gonna figure out the tent pad um, I stopped for water about two tenths of a mile um, south of here only because it was a sure thing, that water coming off the leaf. And I knew that to get to the water source here, you'd have to go down a trail. And there was no certainty that it was, it was actually running. So I filled up everything, my bottles and my um, Canuck bladder for um, hydration first thing in the morning and coffee and everything. But I may walk around just to see if there's some other flat spots around here, but... Um, Anyway, 20 mile day. I started late because I had a super breakfast at Mountain Harbor um, Hostel. And I didn't really walk out of there until 9 o'clock a.m. But the trail today, all green tunnel. I think I had one glimpse outside the trees to a far off mountain. And that was it. So the trail was just enclosed in the green tunnel of the Appalachian Trail. And no real steep ups or downs. So it was kind of a, um, you know, it was a good hike. Nothing um, really strenuous. I mean, it is strenuous hiking out here for 20 miles, but none of the steep descents and, and um, steep des descents and steep ascents, but, um, so I'm, I'm thinking, I know the profile of the entire Appalachian Trail, the 2,200 miles. It's kind of, um, and the two ends are where the higher uh, elevations are. And then it kind of flattens out in the middle. So Pennsylvania is kind of flat. I'm thinking once I get into Virginia, it's going to kind of, you know, kind of f flatten out. There's still, I mean, it's still mountainous. It's just not, you know, I think a lot of the 5,000 foot peaks down south here are, possibly behind me I haven't really looked but um, if today is an example of that it's going to start to get a little um, maybe um, hiking in the lower elevations now but so um, uh, the bugs incredible incredible where'd they come from I mean it's like right in this spot um, so this is uh the um the flattest part but there are um a lot of roots in that area right here so i can't use that i mean like they're really jutting jutting out and then there's this grassy area behind me that i'm walking on and that's sloped so i gotta pick out the flattest part in this grassy area and um roll with it so all right, and I wanted to say, let's see, the day before I went into Mountain Harbor, I had a trail encounter, first time for me. Now, I've met people that, you know, they 
they've seen my videos on the trail. And uh, they say, hey, Hickory, how, hey, how you doing? So I was walking up Roan Mountain near the peak. And uh, these two hikers were coming along. It was a couple. And they said my name. And it was like, uh, oh, you know, I'm never, I'm never ready for that. But it was the first encounter for me of members of the Acorn Army. They they introduced themselves as the Acorn Army. And so, you know, ever, ever since I put that out there, that's the first time I've met somebody that actually admitted to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it was uh, a couple, trail name uh, Tigger, and um, his companion did not have a trail name. So I'm going to call her Christopher Robin. So how about that? But anyway, uh, it was nice to meet you guys. Um, we stood and talked there for um, five or ten minutes, but um, it was really fun to um, meet somebody on the trail that enjoys what I put out there. So um, thanks a lot. And um, it was quite a surprise. I was a little, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready for that stuff, but. Um, it was fun. I was, I was so happy to, to, to meet somebody and talk about the trail and, and, um, Tigger was, you know, telling me about what I was about to, um, hike into. So, um, and I think he'd also stayed at Mountain Harbor bed and breakfast. So, all right, I am going to continue to scope this site out. It's about 5.30. I've still got a, um, two and a half hours of daylight. And it looks like, I don't know, you never know. I'll probably be here all alone. And um, hopefully it's nice and quiet. I can hear the crickets already. I'm not sure if the bats will be out. But I know the mosquitoes are out. So I'm going to get this tent up and get inside so I won't get eaten up. And get some rest. So muffin and button, I love you. I can't wait to see it's getting closer. Acorn Army, I love you too. I'll see you next time.